welcome back again to my channel it's your home girl Yusi Heichi in the crib and guys I know I've been MIA for a while and yes 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 I'm going to be explaining that in details as we proceed in this video today is Monday this week happens to be our lecture free week a lot have been going on off cam and guys there's a lot of things I need to tell you guys about right now I'm inside the school premises today is packed with a lot of activities and I decided to you know get my camera and take you guys along with me right now we are going to submit an assignment I'm with my roommates guys say hi <laughs> Anyways, we are going to submit an assignment this morning. Also, we have a practical. It's crazy. This is our lecture period, like I said, and next week is our examination. So it's going to be a very, 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 very active day. Anyways, guys, I'll see you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Ebuka Israel. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. You? Okay, these are my cosmetics also. My cosmetics are here. I'm looking for my costume so I can submit my assignment. I'm a bit relaxed right now. And like I was saying, today is going to be a busy day. I have my practical, my practical manual to report. This is Stanley. Stanley, say hi. He has a nice handwriting. Let me show you. So yes, I told you guys I was going to talk about why I've been MIA. School has been stressful. Like, I have never been distressed in my entire life. So that was what you said last semester. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it never gets better. Like it's always like that. School is always like that. If you have not undergone any stress, just know that you're not in school. Um, so I haven't had time for myself. It's always going to lectures, you know, balancing it with my church activities and balancing it with my personal life as well. It has been so difficult and I there was no way I could film. Like I've been back for a month plus right now. You know, due to the Horona incident, we had to rush the semester. I told you guys in my former video where I talked about coming back to school. But yeah, I've been I've I've just been I've just been hanging there, like I've not covered all my workload. Like honestly speaking, there are still some courses that I need to not just not that I've not gone through them, but I have to like you know go th through them again and again and again until I get familiar with the term. The only thing I love about this examination is that we have one or two days break interval, and I think that's the only thing that I, I really say about this this semester's examination. But anyways, guys, it is what it is. I know what I signed up for. Like, what were you thinking? Schooling in Nigeria University are not going through stress. Like, where? How? I'm going to submit this and head on to the bank right now to see whether I can pay my fees. Guys, am I the only one that, like, if, like in retrospect, I'm thinking, like, if I knew that my five years in the university was going to turn into six, six flipping years, would I have still you know, gained admission and, you know, gone through the whole stress. I, I don't know, but anyway, like I said, I know what I signed up for coming to, you know, school basically. And, oh, eyes on me. <laughs> I don't know, like in Nigeria, we have to get used to people vlogging. Right now, I'm at the school administration block. I'm very close to Access Bank. That's where we pay our fees. Although you can pay in different banks. If, if I see the queue is too much in Access, then I'll just go to microfinance where I know I just have to pay bank charges and boom, that's basically all I need. At this point, I'm trying to avoid every unnecessary stress. I feel like crying right now. I forgot my ATM at home. Like, how did this happen? I forgot my ATM at home, guys. And I'm already at the bank. Speaking of stress, some of the stress are actually self-inflicted. So I have to go back to get the necessary stuff. I'm so tired. I had to come down to Access Bank at Town, that's Bank Road. I first of all went to the one at Timba, but I wasn't able to, you know, get in because the ATM wasn't functioning. Then I came here and still I couldn't pay the school fees because um, according to them, there's no network. You know what I am done for today? Like I'm tired of, you know, going through the same whole process today. So I'm going to be going back to school. I'm going to take a bus or a keke, anyone I can find here, back to school. Hey, hey, so right now, we are, we are in the practical and we are trying to sort for sodium, wheat and the corn. We have them all day. Yeah, sodium is here. Sodium, sorry. They corrected me, sodium. 
and basically we are we are dealing on grains that's what this particle is about and let me guys let me show you guys what we are dealing with so this is what we have this is what we have this is our whole assorting it it's a skilling me i'm wearing scarf i'm wearing nose mask i'm wearing inner coats i'm wearing lab coats only me guys finally 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 please ignore the noise people are trying to exit their lab and also write to the attendants um i'm so exhausted i'm so tired but anyways guys this is basically what it is people are trying to exit like you can see other people are you know clustered in one place trying to write their name there's a processing going on downstairs and it's basically for our food week we as food scientists we have a week we dedicate to showing you know various food products obviously innovative products products that you will not see in the market like exhibition of different or various food items and you know i'm just going to branch there and see how you know they are going with the whole processing but yeah that's that about that i will see you guys when i get downstairs thank you for watching up to this moment if you're still watching please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel the vlog still continues let's go hey guys so i'm currently at the food laboratory and um i'm going to be showing you in a few seconds what we are doing and basically what we have planned for the food week like i told you about so i have something here let me just turn the camera so you can see see what we have here Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Please, would you like to tell us what this is? This is cinnamon chin chin. Cinnamon. Though it has not yet been fried, we are still processing it. Okay. It's just ordinary dough. Is it? Is it? So after cutting it now, the next thing is to bake it. Actually, we're going to break, bake it. We're not going to fry it. Okay, no, it's going What's to... the difference between baking and frying? The difference between baking and frying is that this one we're not going to use oil because of health issues of some people. So this baked one now is more or less like a healthier chin chin. For some of us that suffer from uh, you know high high cholesterol that is in food, so this one is a more healthier one. They can eat it. Thank you very much, Miss Claribel. So, 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 I'm going to be going around so I can be showing you exactly what we have. And the reason for the crowd outside is they're about getting their What's it called? Our departmental polo. Meet our vice president, Comrade Shoma Ayanwo. How are you feeling today? Um, awesome. Stressed out. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, what do we have here? These are prawns. Prawns. Let me see. Known in the east as opor. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to toast this like with fire. We're going to just toast it to remove whatsoever moisture it might be left inside. And also to release the flavors inside because we want to use it to create seasoning cubes. Once it's dried, like really dry, we will now blend it and mix it with the other ingredients used to making this. Wow, wow. I cannot wait to see the end product of this. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. Also, meet our assistant VP. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Stanley here and he's going to be explaining to us what food week is about and also what food science entails because there have been a misconception about what food science is and he's going to be you know clearing us on that so Mr. Stanley how are you feeling today I'm fine <laughs> that was very sharp <laughs> I'm very fine but I'm a little stressed out oh okay I'm so sorry about that anyways like I said what is food week what should we be expecting we should be expecting a lot of things one of which is uh, our food exhibition so we should be coming up on Wednesday it is all about the science and engineering of food for instance most of the new products we have today in the market let me give you an example we can have variety of a particular product coming from the same raw material so it's with the knowledge of food science that you can be able to achieve that. Getting various varieties and making sure that the nutrients, the nutritional properties are still there intact. Exhibition, we showcase novel products and then we create an awareness on what food science is all about. That's just it. That's the major thing. Thank you very much, Mr. Stanley, for your time. I really appreciate it. Sorry for taking your time. We know you fully were you're tired, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, guys. So over to the next food exhibition we're going to be having. Well, this is actually a test run. We have someone who is going to be telling us, you know, what the food product is and how we are able to achieve the product. Let's give it up for Comrade Leader. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. <laughs> 
how are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. Yes. So um, I can see things going on right now, and I'm very sure my viewers are actually as confused as I am right now. So could you please explain what product we are planning to achieve here? What we are trying to obtain here is a mixed cube spices. It's just like normal bouillon cubes you see in the market. The cube mixed spices is used to cook foods in our norm, in our homes. So here are the raw materials. Here we have. This is a dry milled scent leaf. And this is a dry milled curry leaf, dry milled ginger, and here is dry milled to be are the natural ingredients. And so they are used every day in our kitchens to cook food. So we are trying our, be our best to bring them together to formulate a cube spice that can last longer and and can be pre-processed to add us and use as convenience food products. The difference between these products now and the ones we have in the market is these ones are natural ingredients and they contain natural phytochemicals in their, in their whole form. And so the other ingredients contain what we call monosodium glutamate. And this monosodium glutamate in their high uh, composition can cause allergies. And they also they can contribute in causing cancers and tumors due to their high content of carcinogenic uh, substances. And so these raw materials, as they are natural, do not contain these chemical substances. That is why we are using salt as our preservative and not monosodium glutamate. And also, these stuffs, they have their own natural tastes. They have their own natural tastes, their flavors and natural colors, which makes it a unique product that can be used in many ways. So we can use them in stewing, in baking, in grilling, roasting, and many other food products. Thank you, thank you very much, Comrade Leader, for that extensive um, explanation. I can see you're very, very busy. Let me leave you to what you're doing. Thank you very much, and have a lovely day. Good, beautiful morning. Yes, guys, today is our exhibition day, and it's ongoing at this hall. We call it Lima Hall, and I'll be going there shortly so I can show you guys the product we were able to make you guys remember the product we made in the lab so this is where we're going to be exhibiting the food product so right now we have a couple of persons inside and i'm going to be heading inside to also you know show you guys some of the food product let's go oh wow this is beautiful so we have mixed juice inside here and then this is our yogurt so this one is the dried okra package oh my god i love the packaging oh wow guys look at our cube our mixed cube then these are coconut bread. So we have our peanuts here, granite, wheat flour, sugar, egg, milk flavor, and water. And last but not the least, we have the breadfruit and coconut snack. So guys, as you can see, I'm representing with my department Apollo, and we have seen most of the food products that are available for exhibition and also for sales. I'm going to head on inside to see what's going on inside. I think somebody is making a presentation and I would like to be a part of it. All right, guys, let's go inside. Hello. <laughs> all right, all right, guys. We have come to the end of today's video. It is a wrap. I hope, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I did enjoy this video. Let me know in the comment section what was the highlight of this vlog for you. With that being said, if you did enjoy this content, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notification bell to receive future updates for my channel. I will see you in the next vlog. Until then, bye for now.